Hey guys, Rival X Factor here from Rival Gaming. Today's video is about how to shoot the M16A3 and how to burst and tap fire. Everybody asks me, how do you kill so fast and how's your aim so good? This is the other part of the equation besides just having good aim. It's knowing how to use your weapon at what distances, whether to shoot two bullets or ten bullets. So hopefully you guys listen to this video as well as watch it because it's important to hear how my gun's shooting, not just look at it. Okay, before we start shooting stuff up, I want to talk about a couple simple tips when it comes to firing and how to firing. Everybody knows that when you aim down sight or ADS, there is a aim bonus, okay? What most people don't realize is when you move side to side, there is a negative effect to your ADS bonus, okay? So if you're close up on somebody, you're going to notice I'm going to juke and jive when hip firing, okay? Because I'm hoping they miss. But when I'm taking aim at somebody further than medium, you'll notice most of the time I'm standing still, okay? Because I need that bonus at long ranges. This is medium range, this little uh, cubby right here. So I'm still going to fire while moving most of the time, okay? But if it's anything further than here to the elevator or the escalator stairs there, I'm probably going to stand perfectly still such as long range shots because I need all the bonus from the gun that I can get to make these bullets count. Okay, so the M16A3 and why I like it. The gun has a very, very, very low recoil that's easy to control, unlike some of the other guns such as the FAMAS and the AEK. Uh, in game, I have 15,000 kills with this gun, but I probably have more because of all the matches I play on private servers. I'm probably closer to 20 to 23,000 kills with this gun. I know it inside out. I avoid the flavor of the month guns like the AEK and the FAMAS because they're always changing. If something's overpowered, it's going to get nerfed and readjusted, such as the patch coming up. The AEK and the FAMAS are drastically being changed. Uh, these guns are going to have bigger cones of fire, and they're going to bloom quicker, which is never a good thing. So how do I shoot so well with an underpowered gun? It's simple. I burst and I tap fire based on the range that I'm at. Okay? Anybody who holds the trigger down and drops a whole clip like I'm about to do, watch this wall here, there's not a lot of accuracy because look how far out the bolts are spreading. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time and replay this if you have to. All right? All those bullets aren't going center of mass where I had the uh, Cobra sight. They're spreading all the way around and then some. So you never want to drop the hammer. That's medium range right there. Okay? If it's close range, for instance, from here to the turnstile, and obviously I have a suppressor on, so my hip fire bonus is kind of crappy, but if it's close range from here, you can get away with shooting more bullets, okay, at a target. The only problem is you're not going to have a lot of bullets left in your clip for the next guy. So it's, it's important to master shooting groups and tap firing bullets of two to seven to down a guy from close to medium range. And a lot of you guys have asked me, how do you kill so fast? It's not just great aim, it's learning how to use your weapon of choice. And for me, it's the M16A3. So let's get to it. This is as much a, a, a visual thing as it is an audio thing. So pay attention and rewind these clips a couple times to hear how my gun shoots. This is medium range, what I'm going to call medium range at the ticket booth here, okay? And we want to shoot rounds of five to seven bullets at this range. And that, if you have, you know, combined with good aim, will, will down a player. On their screen, it'll insta-kill them. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So that's three bursts, uh, basically five to seven to ten rounds. Okay, and you can get away with that in medium range. See how they're all nice, tightly grouped? Okay. Or you can shorten it up to roughly five round bursts. Okay, if your aim is that good and you're getting chest head shots, like I do a lot of time with a high headshot kill rate, you can shorten that. All right. So you can get away with killing four or five guys in a clip. Next, let's take a look hey, at the, the uh, medium-ish long range. Now we definitely want to use five round bursts or less. Okay. All five and six round bursts. Okay, very effective. Anybody playing a spot like this, got them in your sights they're gonna drop like a fly okay so keep that in mind that's what I call medium range to long range so medium ish and you can get away with five round bursts to six round bursts being highly accurate and if you guys have watched enough of my videos you know I drop people like a bad habit okay so let's take a look at what long range looks like and how to handle that situation 
Okay, we're going to call this from long range, okay, this plant holder here in the building. And anything from this range, you really want to maximize the ADS bonus by standing still while firing. And now you definitely want to use three to five bullet bursts and, and no more. Because after that, it just gets sloppy, okay? Another thing is after two or three spams, reset your gun, okay? Get that bonus back because as you shoot your gun, it takes away some of the bonus as you keep firing. So there's a split second break, you get all your bonus back. So if you're trying to engage multiple targets, take a split second break, you're gonna have a better aiming bonus, okay? So word of advice is get a gun you like. Just remember there's big adjustments coming to the game in this patch here in March, April-ish. And I love the M16A3 with or without the suppressor. It is my favorite gun and based on my ridiculous ridiculously high accuracy it works pretty well for me but again learn to tap fire and burst fire every gun is different I'm not saying use this gun solely but just learn how to shoot your gun I could do a video on each one of these guns but the fact of the matter is everyone's drastically different and it took me a while to master it so hopefully this makes you guys a better a more accurate shooter as it has helped me in this game so again hopefully this helps make you a better more complete player in BF3 guys